Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta, and welcome to SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. So, this game officially releases on January 31st, which should be very soon by the time this video is up. Now, I should make a note and say that because this game, you know, it's obviously based on SpongeBob SquarePants, like, you know, the show, the cartoon, obviously. Um, there could be music and or just things in general that could be copyrighted. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to either mute the music or if it's a cutscene entirely, I'd have to remove that specific scene. Mostly stuff for like the intro and stuff sometimes happens. So we'll have to see how that works. But anyway, this game has received a lot of hype. It's going to be a, it's a platform game, but it's going to be released for various platforms. So let's see. Um, yeah, that's fine. Sure. Standard camera shake. I think I'm gonna put that to off and rumble off. I think that's uh, that's fine. Video settings. I think that's okay. Do these save? Uh, yes, they do. Audio settings. That should all be fine. Uh, accessibility, colorblind, severity, subtitle size. What small? I think normal is fine. Okay, I think we're okay. So with all that, let's go ahead and do... Well, we can look at control scheme here. Okay. I'm sure the game will tell us, you know, like... Yeah, so overall the game is pretty similar to um, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, which originally came out a long time ago for consoles like the GameCube and so on and so forth. But it did get their, you know, the rehydrated version that came out, I believe it was 2020. So after it did really well they developed this one as well so hopefully it's, it's good if there's scenes and talking I'll, I'll obviously be quiet but let's see Alright, so, oh wow, I mean, all of this does actually kind of resemble, <laughs> you know, the beginning of Battle for Bikini Bottom, but anyway, here's Squidward, no, press no, X. No, not you, not today. This day will be about relaxation and inspiration. I am not to be disturbed on my precious day off. I will spend it with the love of my life, myself, and my art, of course. Sounds fun. Can I help? For this, I need you to get something very important for me. Go away! Alright, it says to find Patrick at the house. We're gonna go ahead and do that by going in here. Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! By the way, to Sandy at the tree Would dome. Rather going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. A good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket, unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. All right, so here's the first tutorial, I guess, how to jump. I already did a little bit of this, but you can actually jump twice. Can I go up here? I mean, I can, but there's not really anything in there. All right, so now I can go across All to right, the other side. Nothing to see here except the giant traffic jam. Howdy, SpongeBob! You're up earlier than an insomniac rooster. In the mood for a little morning karate? Love to, but we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather 
rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. So it seems like we need to enter, it says clean up around Sandy's tree dome. How to spin attack. Okay, we got it's the Y button. It's pretty simple. Self-explanatory. It's the same tiki's too. Like it's wow, okay. That's it. Just four simple ones. That was incredibly simple. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to you. Alright, so that's to find a way to Patrick. There's a switch here. So, the switch is you just simply do a spin attack um, to hit them. It's pretty obvious, and it generally makes things appear or things move or something like that. So, in that case, I mean, one of those trampling things pop up. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. One hour late. One hour later. I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. Uh, nah. Still not cool enough. Huh? <gasps> Can I have this? What, this old piece of... Magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Woo! 47 seconds later. I wish... No. I wish... No. I wish... Oh, let's go, let's go. Okay. My first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest, balloonyest adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ear? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says property of King Neptune, not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.
no, Patrick. What have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! All right, so hopefully this is the true beginning of the game. That was a long cutscene there, but it was basically, you know, introducing us. We were setting up the premise of the game. Okay, so... Oh, wow. These little narrow passageways here. Is such an even fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! Oh, it's left or my... Oh, no! My giant sticky notes are gone, too! Now how am I going to remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Okay, now we're going to introduce how to ground pound. You simply jump, and then while you're in the air, you press the B button. Wow, that made some more platforms appear. We will keep going. So we haven't been told what these orbs are for, for the most part. Um, but that's okay. We'll keep going. Wait a minute. Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is... <gasps> Sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah, that's a good stuff. So, that's to find a way to reach the crusty crab. All right, um, how about wait, hold on, a quick cut. Okay, I'm back. So, I um, have to find a way to get to the crusty crab. It says, uh, what's over here? I can finally put my black belt to good use. And all this time, Weird. I've been using it as a scar. Sandy's house feels wetter than usual. I think we might need to find the top hat still. Alright, so so far... I mean, that's all I found there. I guess I just gotta hit that switch then. Wow. How to glide. Okay, what... This is definitely new. Alright, so... The glide ability was actually in... Battle for Bikini Bottom, but um, that was Sandy's ability for the most part. Yeah, um, I should make a note. At this game, you only control Spongebob. It was announced. So you're not going to be controlling Spongebob and Patrick and Sandy. Wait a minute. What? I barely made that. Did I do that wrong? No, it's it's not a very it's nowhere near as good as Sandy's. What will the brave people of Bikini Bottom eat now? And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this. Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this. Alright, so this is the same thing, it's the same button, but it's just ta teaching you that you can actually use it to attack enemies. How to dodge. Oh, you can actually dodge in this game, wow. Oh yeah, you totally can. Well, I didn't need to dodge there, they're easy enough enemies. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos! My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing! You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing! Correct. Oh no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. 
Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In. Correct. You who? Over here, my little blunders. My adorable cuties. You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra. We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom. And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Gear Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble extravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions. <laughs> <laughs> Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. How to costume shop. Use the shop to equip and purchase SpongeBob's costumes. Unlock costumes by playing the story, collecting doubloons, and completing side quests. Use Cosmic Jelly to purchase unlocked costumes. Access to shop and... okay. Got it. That makes sense to me. That makes sense. Oh, you must feel awful about this, huh? Make sure so let me press X with you again. Make Wait, sure it says make sure to bring the like, crafting back. costumes for you. Okay, so I guess we just have to... Well, let me actually pause and see here because... I just want to see. So it says 0 out of 8. Those are all the worlds, I imagine. Hmm. L is for costumes. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of them. Okay. Child, cowboy. Got it. Oh, what the heck? Carl Cattle Rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. One of our friends might be on the other side of this portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. So I guess I should be going there. Well, I could also be collecting some of this, which might not be a bad idea. Now nah, you know what? It's not, oh wait a minute. That's oh, so that's health by the way. These the pairs of underwear. It works just like in Battle of Bikini Bottom, where um your hit points are in the top left corner, as you can see up there. And every time you get hit, you lose one pair of underwear. So you have to get pairs of underwear for more health, like more hit points. Alright, I, I think we're ready to go. I could keep hitting all these things, but... What's next one? What does this do? Okay, just takes me to more of these. The point of a water tower? Something over there too, though. What is this? That's stupid. Collect sticky note one out of nine. <laughs> Huh. I think that's it for this side. So let's just drop down. And yeah, I think it's time to just move on to that portal now, finally. Because I don't see anything else in particular. Okay, let's head to it.
Wait, is this a loading screen? Oh, it is, I think. Okay. I thought, because I could still control SpongeBob, so I was waiting for the loading screen to finish, but then I noticed that you're able to actually control SpongeBob there. I think it's just an interactive loading screen. Okay, so here I just have it says look for Mr. K How do you Oh my god. <laughs> it just put you right on this and it didn't even tell you anything about Oh my gosh, okay, I, I got it though, I think. Oh sorry partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money? Crab problem, eh? I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Manta Fe? It's supposed to be like Santa Fe. <laughs> oh, that's a big one there, okay. Well, it's time to explore. Let me pause to see. Wild West Jellyfish Fields. Wow, Jellyfish Fields was actually the first um, stage in battle for Bikini Bottom, so... I guess it's the same... Same level, it's just a different variation of it, you know? Alright. Well, let's, um, let's, let's go. Overall, the game's, uh, I mean, it's good so far. I don't like it. How, it's, how it plays out. Controls are nice and smooth. I do like that, too. Alright, so here we got, um... Does that even take me to anything? I can ground pound these to show you that you get stuff in them, but there's no point in... There's nothing over there. <laughs> there's seriously nothing over there. Okay. Alright, pretty easy enemies to deal with. I mean, they're the, they're the basic enemies, like the little robots in Battle for Bikini Bottom. They just charge at you and try to do a physical attack, and that's it. Okay. Um, let's see. More jellyfish. Pretty easy to deal with here. Small Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. We're safe, Patrick. It's Mrs. Puff. If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her. <laughs> Quick, let's catch up with her. She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Follow Mrs. Here, Puff? Like Wait, do I have to be fast about this? Oh my god, I don't even know. If we do have to. I want to take my time and explore. I don't think we have to be fast. Well, let's see. If we fail it because we're too slow, then now we know. But... There's not really, like, a timer or anything. Okay, I guess we'll explore up here first. There's a switch here. Huh. Maybe we can take this path later. But who knows? Maybe not. Huh, yeah, because it's not working. So it's a later thing, like Patrick said. Alright, so that means that we can only go this way. I'm going to hit these little things. Yeah, those are checkpoints when they pop up like that. <clears throat> That's what that means. 
I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> So far, all the platforming has been pretty basic. Those spikes? Oh, they are. Yeah, nothing too challenging, you know, at the moment. I mean, really, nothing challenging at all. What's this luggage doing in the middle of the desert? I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. I didn't see anything on the, um... The left side over there? I don't think... Yeah, I can't make it over there. I have to go this way. <clears throat> it says wanted. What? Yeah, that's... That's Mr. Krabs, alright. <laughs> How to... Bubble button. So you just throw... Oh, I was supposed to stand on the platform. Got it. I mean, it started moving before. Do I have to press it again? Alright, let's go on to the next platform up here. There's a target down there. I'm probably going to have to hit that with the, the bubble. Oh, shoot. I actually let him hit me. I can't believe that. Is there any, like, secrets over here? No, I don't think so. It's very linear so far. Oh, I see. He brings up the bridge. I'll take that. I'm feeling better already. Howdy, strangers. You came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license! Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. <laughs> Learn how to... okay. So it says follow Mrs. Puff, check. Got a new objective now. <laughs> like the, all the, you know, they're all seahorses. I mean, obviously that makes sense. I saw Shiny! Over there! Sounds like an adventure within our adventure! Double adventure! Alright, I'll take all of that. I mean, I'm up here in the rooftops. Let's see if I can... Oh damn, I think that makes me slide a little bit. To be a little careful. I can also... Wait, it didn't work. I was holding the A button and it didn't work. Whoa, 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 whoa. why is it not working? That was weird. Let's try it again. What? Why? Is it glitching? There we go. Oh wait, I didn't even make it though. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, and I fell into the... It's seriously... Maybe there was some like loading issue because there was a little bit of lag there too. I don't think you can make that. Oh shoot, I keep falling in the... Let's try one more time, but I don't think you can. Oh yeah, yes I did. Yes I did. Oh my god. 
Where do I go from here? That can't be it, right? So sometimes when you... Okay. I don't know how to explain this, but it appears that sometimes when you press... The button, or, or hold it, sorry, when you hold it or directly after the jump, it doesn't do, like, it doesn't register it. It's happened a few times, not even there, but it ha happened again when I jumped on the other one, too. That was a little strange. It might be a glitch, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, anyway. I'm going to go... Anything else? Here's some of these. I can hit these for some. There we go. Some of that. I think that's mostly it though. I think it's time to just go ahead and follow the main objective. Since I don't think I can go in here. No, it's closed. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Puff, I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before and uh, I'm not always the best test taker. So, uh, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> a little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set, and go! Okay, so I gotta wait, just dodge these. How to Casillo's boost? You press Y. Got it. Oh. I, I got it, I got it. So I got to, uh... You scored 35 points. Yeah, there's a bit of a late register on some of these things. Like, I pressed Y there and there was like a lag input. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that's a... I guess I can keep uh, dashing if I needed to. Oh my god. Did I break that? Alright, well I made it, I think. Oh dear, you have six points. Out of seven! <laughs> Only one point away from passing! Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun! Oh no, that's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks, partner. Oh, license. SpongeBob! Hey, hold your horses. Oh, I don't think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals. With the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Alright, so I learned how to ride a seahorse. I gotta talk to the sheriff. So I came in from over there. I think the only way I can possibly go to now is just jump on this. So let's do it. Did we, we make it? It seems like we made it. The objective is right over there. But obviously I'm going to, you know, do some exploration first. Oh, here's this finally, a pair of underwear. See, it didn't it didn't do it again there. I think it might be safer if I just press it a third time. Like I know what the game was saying. Also, why are those floating? I know what the game was saying that you, after you hold it, it works, but I think it's safer if you don't do that and if you just press it a third time. Maybe that's what I'm gonna have to do. Because there are seriously several times when it hasn't actually... Oh my god, you're telling me I need to go all the way over there? No way, right? Well, let's see what I can find. Here's another switch. There's also some stuff up there that I can try and get. 
I wonder what that shiny thing is, though. We, we gotta get it. Oh my god, it just... Oh, shoot. Well, are those, like, shortcuts? No, I don't think they are. I have to start over. All the way. Unless there's something on this side. Let me actually take a look around here, you know? Like, there's... I don't believe I can make that. Oh, I need to hit this dirt one. Huh? Yep, there we go. That makes sense. So that's all three that have been hit now. Um, I guess I can come over here and grab... This stuff. I don't even want to jump on those things. Okay, so here you want to jump from the edge of the star point, I think. Sweet. I feel like Mr. Krabs. And I got one. Look, it's Sandy. I mean, it's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie, but hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann, better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! Jelly bandits. We gotta defeat them all, I imagine. Came out of nowhere. Oh my god. Alright, they're all dead. Oh, I see. You have to time it well. My bad. I didn't... <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I didn't... Oh, I'm gonna lose this because it didn't tell me anything about this. Shoot. Too early. If I would have known this from the beginning... Well, I think I lost. Ever since this red-handed bandit bandits took over our cactus farms, we've been running low on supplies. Any chance you can go up to Captain Hills and fetch some more cactus juice for us? The sooner we can finish our duel, the sooner I can solve your crab case. Don't you worry, Sheriff. Deputy SpongeBob. And Baloo Deputy Patrick are on the case. Alright, so I guess we gotta get out of here. There's a second floor though, there might be something something good up here. Ooh, how do I get up there? I mean, there's nothing really special up here, it's just... the basics. Ooh, there's a big one over there though, let's see if I can reach that. That'd be kind of nice if I can. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, dude. There we go. We got it. I don't like cactuses. They're not even pretty. They're just green, juicy, and thorny. Like a cucumber that hurts your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Looks like it wants to duel.
how to bubble throw? Okay, we know about this. We just do R. That's it. What did that even do? What? That doesn't even do damage, it just, uh, put it in the bubble. That was kind of weird. Looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you for a wee share of, um, 70%. I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for him since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick, let's find those thorny cucumbers! Wow, alright, cheap as always, right? <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Actually, we've already been here. I gotta go that way. So I need to hit this little switch that I see right here. Oh my god, I did it again. Sand. Enjoy! This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Oh, baby, that okay, let's see. Can I make it up there? Oh, I thought I could make it, make it up there. Okay, let's eliminate some, some enemies here. So I gotta go that way. There's a lot to explore here, though, it looks like. Um, what does this say? Beware of, Beware of bullworm. Okay. What does that do? Oh, it makes it into a platform. Okay. That's kind of neat, I guess. Let's go ahead and hit that thing. We'll start by taking this up to see... What we can do up here. Hmm. I feel like I could have made that from here, but I don't know. Okay, let's go back. Let's get out. No, it didn't work. See? Ugh. Damn it, I don't know why it doesn't work. I think it's a glitch. I mean, if all of you are playing along, can you leave a comment and tell me if you're experiencing that issue as well? Like, there are times when it just doesn't register and it doesn't pop up to glide. What the heck? Okay. I got an award for doing that. Um, okay, there's nothing over here. But there are these things. There's two of them. Looks a little weird that there's just two. That's kind of strange. We'll leave that be for now. I don't think I can do much there. Not at the moment. Okay, I can't do stuff up there either. Okay. 
A ward and log. Sponge out of harm's way. Hmm. I don't know if they're gonna have like major secrets hidden, you know, in these like tucked away over here. That's why I'm that's why I'm doing a lot to explore. Ooh, more jelly. Oh damn, I missed that. I mean, it doesn't only give me three, I don't even know if it's worth doing this, but I did it. It's fine. And then, let's see what I can find up here. Let me hit one. Oh wait, they don't fall. I keep forgetting, they don't fall in this game. I thought it was a bug at first, but I think it's intentional. But they just don't fall. Oh, what was that? Also, I'm down to one hit point, I, I should mention. Wow. Well, I made it here. Let's go ahead and take some. Oh, I have to hold it, okay. Hold the X button. And we gotta keep going to get some more, I think. Okay. What is this? Even a blind hawk can find an acorn once in a while. Okay, that just seems so random. Um, if there's a pair of underwear over there, I don't know if I want to jump all the way down there because. Unless there's a thing to... Oh, there's a... This, I think this will take me up. Check over here. Okay, so I think we're okay. Yeah, I'd rather get this. I need the hit point. I don't know how I took so much damage. I just... I guess I was a little careless at times. There's also a pathway back here. Not sure where this one leads to. You do care. What? Oh, I can't go over there. I, I thought I was gonna hit me actually, take a hit point, but no, at least I didn't do that. That would have been ridiculous. Give me all that stuff, okay. Wait, this is here now. That wasn't there before. What is going on? What in the world is going on? Here's another one. Why are there so many? They just put two in a row right next to each other. Um, another one of those things over there. Let's hit this, okay. That makes some bouncy things to go that way. himself on the back. Yeah, that's the second of those. I'm not sure what those things are all about so far, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. And there's a third one here? Confusion is a goat on AstroTurf. That just went back this way. That's strange. Okay. Oh, it won't let me stand on this. I have to go all the way around. Dang it. Okay. Well, I think the spring should be able to... Yeah. That should be able to take me up there. By the way, I'm going to be keeping these videos somewhere around the 55 minute mark to like just under an hour around there. In case you are wondering the length of these videos, it's usually the length of videos that I do for my channel. Oh my god. Oh shoot, I missed it. Alright, so I guess when you're in a mandatory battle, the game will randomly put or enclose you in a looks like some cosmic thing. I get it, cosmic shake. Okay. I'm gonna hit that one too. Okay, that's gonna make Oh, I see. It's those. Yeah, and that will help me out, okay, and go back up that way. Okay. So it's like you're unlocking shortcuts along the way, which is obviously great.
Okay. It helps to always center it right behind you. Now, sometimes they do fall. Like, did you see right there one of them actually fell when I hit the second one? So, I don't know if the game is intending for those things to fall or not, but... What in the world? Yeah, I don't know. Where am I? Oh, right here, okay. Oh, God. Oh, my God, stupid thing. I do not trust that glide. It just does not pop up, like, ever. There's a lot of issues behind that. I don't know why it's not working. But yes, like I said, please let me know in the comments if you're experiencing the same issue or if you're not. Here's a third one. Well, let's do it. Oh, wait, no, I think that's the second one. My bad. <clears throat> okay, I made it here. Let's go ahead and hit this. What's this gonna make? Nice. Got some more things leading up to. Okay, so I came in from the top somewhere over there, so I need to go this way. Here's another one of these. It just seems that way. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. A little dabble do ya. Oh wow. No, I'm pretty sure it's intended to for them to stay up and not go down, because that would be a terrible glitch right there. Like none of those even move anything. You know? There's only been few circumstances where they have fallen. And I think that's when it's glitching, but it's on rare occasions. Shoot. Oh my god. Hit it, please. Big one up here? We made it to the top. No more chafing. Guess I'll hit that thing too. Alright, so we made it up here. I think I'm actually going to hold off on this until the next video. Okay, we're gonna, we'll get a scene here. Oh great, it'll be a cliffhanger then, I think. You know what, we'll have to do the battle right now. I think we have to do it. What was that? Why did you... Did I... Oh, I think I accidentally pressed the B button there. Kill it. Kill it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I needed to do that. I'll hit these guys on the side. They're just there randomly, so... No, I, I have to... No. I, I thought I was supposed to get the cactus during the battle. But it doesn't seem like it now. Oh wait, oh, I thought he wasn't... I think we couldn't hit him. Well, it's a good way to grind, actually, because the enemies kept, you know, giving you more and more of that, so... Alright, I guess I'll grab this one then. Return to the familiar looking stranger. Alright, so I am going to end things here once I just dropped down there and it did not work. Oh my god, I, I pressed it a little bit later as you saw. But wow. Alright, so before in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye bye everyone. Have a great day.